This is a cute one of them. Yeah. They're looking out. Then there's you. You're really little. There they they look like angry Eastern Europeans. <laughs> like what? I took that picture of the gates. Now I'm like, what? Why are you so mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> like like that's that to that. Like right. that's that 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 was I don't know. They were Maybe cool. it was blood sugar. And they danced a lot. They loved to dance. Like they would be the ones at any party dancing. Mm. They would be leading the charge. It's been a little less than two weeks since my granddad died. My mom, my uncle, and I have just gotten back from the funeral. It's kind of a bittersweet reunion. I love all these, though. Yeah. These are like, every day, walking down the stairs, this is like, would greet you like, all right, don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah. What I tell people is dad went through lots of different phases like any artist. He started with snapshots. He found all these little pictures of us and he wanted to learn more about it and he got into developing. I remember the smell of a stinky dark room and him being like, stop, what are you doing? Just stand still while I develop these 47 <laughs> pictures and learn how to do this. It's so boring. And later in life, he got into what he called capturing movement. Anyone else would call it blurry. <laughs> <laughs> This one's always made sense. This one makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's the, the motion. It says, motion. and it yeah. says jazz, and it is jazz. Like, yeah. I get it. I that feel that. That makes sense. Yeah. That, everything about that jazz and the, 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 the notes you don't play and the focus that you don't catch. <laughs> it, I get it. Because I wore that jacket, and, and this lady looks thrilled. Look at that lady. Mmm. <laughs> She goes. <laughs> I have a lot of memories of taking photos with my grandfather, but I think these <laughs> really stick out to me because he, he got like this funhouse mirror and took a bunch of pictures of me. And he kind of turned the process of making something into play. And I think that was like a really formative experience for me and like made the idea of making art so much more accessible and exciting. So the, one of the last conversations I remember having with dad where he was really clear and able to communicate in a linear way, he was talking about this. This is a picture and then there are pictures within the picture um, and they were, they're telling the story of all the things he loved in his life. So first of all, he loved mom she was like the center of everything to him. So this is their wedding picture. Him holding you on the um, lawnmower. And he looks really happy. So the conversation I remember having with him about this was he was pointing at this and he was saying, I want to be buried with this. I want to be buried with this. This is, this is the most important thing to me. I remember even at the time thinking, well, we're not going to bury you with this. We want, we want to share it and continue to have it. And mm -hmm. I feel kind of weird that we didn't do what he wanted in that sense, but I'm glad that we have this stuff because, you know, it's a time before we start to lose him. Watching my grandfather fade away into dementia was especially difficult because I think it felt like it, it stood in such stark contrast uh, from his personality as this person who loved kind of capturing memories and loved history and the idea that he would slowly begin to forget all these things he cared so much about and forget himself and forget his family um, was, was really it was really painful the flower withers and falls away and so that's what happens you get older and probably, and when your memory starts to go, then that's what happens. I just thought that one says um, how everything is just like confused without a plan or just things f floating and how sort of life is, that nothing really is tied up in a little package and finished. It's not a beginning, middle, end. There's like everything just hang sort of hanging there then everything is very clear there and not the confusion more just pure 
and the fact that they're all hanging. The day after his funeral, we had a second event for my granddad, a retrospective photo show in a small local gallery. Looking at those photos, I realized this work, whatever jokes we may make about it, now it's a document of him, a version of his memories and ideas that all exist long after they faded from his head. There's so much bad things, so many bad things. You know, that's all you hear over and over and over again. Oh, so true, this is, this is bad, the plumage, everything, and then they repeat, 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 repeat. But we gotta keep finding out that there is so beautiful things in spite of it. What are some of the good things? Music, <laughs> art, love, people, family, puppy dogs. <laughs> uh, you know, local boys, maybe. 